Fletcher is out near the 30 yard line for a first down. And it is Tony Green, the safety number 43, making the tackle. A big hole, Johnny Morris. Here's Walter Payton. Steps to the 34 yard line, picked up a couple before he was met by the nose tackle. Third and five. Payton. First down, and then some. A couple of more over the 40 to the 43-yard line. Kadish and Williams ranging out left to make the stop on it. Robin Earl coming back behind the right guard. Gain of about five as they continue to churn it out. The linebacker number 58, Isaiah Robertson, get his share. And it is Earl again going straight ahead. Picked up a couple. He going to be short of the first down by about a yard or a little less. Roland Harper and of course John Skabinski gone for the season. Earl is stopped short of the first down. A flag is down. I believe Walter Payton may have moved too soon. The other back went in motion forward and it's going to be a penalty against Chicago. However, Drive going. Slot formation left. Avellini's first pass attempt. Incomplete. Intended for number 84, Brian Bashnagel on the coverage was number 29, Mario Clark. The locker room for x-rays, bruised ribs, the early diagnosis. Excellent punt by Jackson. Had the win with him. Schubert from his 39. Schubert to midfield. Inside the midfield stripe. Good field position for the Bears. Willie Parker, number 61, made the tackle for Buffalo. It gives up yards against the run, and the Bears are taking advantage. Payton gets a block on the corner, squirts through a couple of tacklers to the 40-yard line. A flag is down. Walter to the Holding inside. offense, number 69. Avellini. Getting away from the rush, at least momentarily. Tackled out of bounds by D. Hardison, number 74, as the Bills got the pursuit on Avellini, and he got back for a loss of about four on the play. Just a point behind Dan Fouts of San Diego. Oh, no, drop by Lenny Wallerscheid, had it and could not hold on, intended for Miller. Robin Earl, number 39, Peyton, number 34, and this is Earl, trying the right side. Kadish, the first man to bulldog him down, he gained about four yards, and it'll bring up a third and uh, about three to go. For the Pitch out, Peyton. First down, and almost made the turn. Good defensive play on the corner by Mario Clark. Hit him, he came into the game leading the Bills and tackles with 54. Peyton has rushed for 32 yards and seven carries. Robin Earl breaks off a tackle, batters his way for a first down. Robin Earl was stopped twice at the Bills, 44. Peyton behind the right guard, slowly and the right tackle, Lick. Got about six on the play. Jack can do plenty for you. Peyton. Close to the first down, and we'll see where they mark it. Sanford, Freeman, and Ben Williams all getting in on the tackle. Sanford showing good range from the right side. Rich Stadium, they've got plenty to cheer about with his high-scoring Buffalo team, but not so far today. Peyton has the first down. Good ankle tackle by number 59, Shane Nelson. More effective than the Bills defensively so far against the Chicago running attack. Peyton on first down, gets a block from Dennis Lick. Pulled out of bounds by Mario Clark. A gain of about five, maybe more. Let's see where they, it's gonna be closer to about seven or eight yards. The eye formation Earl the lead back. Peyton behind Robin Earl. Hutchinson on the tackle number 90. Pickup of four yards. Second and six. Here goes Avellini on a quarterback reverse. Pulled out of bounds. Got about three yards before the linebacker Sanford caught him. The Bills reacted rather well for his early second period. Nowhere to go. He has stopped. 
at the 12 yard line maybe got to the 11 with his dive Sanford number 57 and Nelson number 59 the linebackers on the tackle and it was Lucius Sanford who was the key man on that he got across the line of scrimmage held his position played off the block by Revi Sori and jammed it up so the Bears have a field goal situation with Bob Thomas who has kicked eight out of ten this year he's been superb last year he had great percentages in fact he has kicked 25 of his last 32 field goal attempts have been successful early in the second quarter at New York the Giants lead unbeaten Tampa Bay seven to nothing on a run by Billy Taylor from the 19 Thomas's field goal is no good Thomas missed from 29 yards away and the Bills have stopped the Chicago Bears. Fine. They'll hit it from about the 14. A short, wobbly punt. Fair catch, Bashnagel inside the 50. And the Bears in good field position again at the Buffalo 49. The Bears at the 49 of Buffalo. Hate, what a play by Hazlitt. Number 55, shredding. A block, shedding it, and indeed shredding it, and throwing Peyton for a one-yard loss. If they run this time, you know the game plan is run, 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 run. Third and nine, five defensive backs in for the Bills. Sideline for Earl made a good catch, but he's short of the first down. Robin Earl falling backwards near the sideline with the coverage by Nixon and Isaiah Robertson, the linebacker. In motion is Lewis. Brown, the safety receiver, has it. Good coverage by the Bears. Terry Schmidt, number 44. Bruce Heron, the extra linebacker, 51. And Campbell, 59, the right side linebacker. They have bent a little bit, but they haven't broken. It is still scoreless. A missed 29-yard field goal, the only scoring attempt by either team. Peyton has got some room now and has a first down inside Bill's territory to the 46-yard line. Jeff Nixon, the safety, and Ben Williams coming all the way back to help. Chuck Knox said, we can't stop Peyton. We just hope he doesn't break too many long ones. Okay, this has to go as a good call. The draw, watch Peyton give the limp leg right here in the midair. Let's see that leg go up, and then he cuts back. He has that knack before Nixon brings him down. He has that knack of almost changing directions in midair. In Buffalo territory, Peyton again. Three, maybe four yards before he's first out by Shane Nelson, number 59. And what a block by Robin Earl. The fullback is being called upon to lead on a many, many of these plays, and he really cut down the right side of that Buffalo defensive line. Fullback position. Has the ball. Has the yardage. First down, Chicago. Pulled down from behind by Robertson and Hazlitt. And he has been dragging bodies. Big Robin Earl. Chicago. Avalini to throw. Up the middle, Earl makes a good catch. He's hit immediately at the 30-yard line. Nelson, 59. And Hazlitt, 55. The second and three, Bashnagel in motion. Earl straight ahead, batters his way for another first down. Robin Earl inside the 25 to the 23-yard line. They have been most of this first half, but they have nothing on the board. Peyton, running hard out the left side, gets to the 15-yard line. the line of scrimmage second effort got him I believe first down yardage first down Chicago inside the 15 pitch out Peyton going for the hundred will not get it on that play good tackle Lucius Sanford number 57 it was still a good defensive play second and seven Earl straight ahead has let loose ball Buffalo has recovered Robin Earl hit by Hazlitt, coughed it up. And the Bears, who continue to have the ball most of the game, are still scoreless. Let's take a look at the halftime statistics, and they are amazing. The Bears have a total yardage of 176 to 40 for the Buffalo Bills. Who would have believed that after the first half, the Bills would have only 
four yards rushing. They have 36, four yards passing, I should say. They have 36 yards rushing. Two first downs for the Bills, 10 for the Bears. Pass attempts, only a total of eight by both teams. Three for four for Bob Avellini, one for four for Joe Ferguson. And look at the ball control. That's the key to this game. Fine. Play action, screen pass, Curtis Brown. Good block on Campbell. Good tackle from behind by Muckenstern. But a first down, close to it. No, it will be short of a first down at the, where they spot the ball now. It is at the 33 yard line. It is second and three, Buffalo. Roland Hooks has the first down. Fensick made the tackle. Miller shifts to the tailback in the eye and has the ball. Running hard, Miller. A little pushing and shoving going on as the Bears pin him. Fensick was there, number 45. Wide left comes Lewis. Flag down, loose ball. Chicago football, but a flag on the play prior to that fumble. Let's wait and see. Defense was offside. That's the first down. Seven on third down. The first time they've been across the midfield stripe in this football game. The rush is on. Intercepted Lenny Wallerscheid. Wallerscheid drops the ball. It's picked up by the Bears. Hartenstein, number 73, alertly picks up the loose ball. Wallerscheid made the interception, took a tremendous hit at the Buffalo 40. Hartenstein gets the ball. I don't think he saw Walter Scheid and he was sick and clean and I think it's Ferguson who makes this tackle a really a driving tackle by the quarterback Ferguson who knocked the ball loose and then the Bears are alert to get it and that was who number 73 Mike Hartenstein for Chicago and Peyton the split running backs now they shift to the eye Peyton a block from Earl hard running Walter Peyton down near the 25 yard line he may have the first down yardage Hazlitt to make the tackle. Hazlitt is left with an injury to his right wrist, it appears, or hand. Keating is in. Peyton trying the right side. Forced wide. Good play on him by Steve Freeman, number 22. He's finished off by Chris Keating, number 52, here in the third period. Robin Earl met at the line. Loose ball picked up by the bill. Mario Clark and a good tackle on him by Avellini, or he was gone. So the Bills get it right back. Play action. Ferguson for Curtis Brown oh. can't hold on. And he's trying again on third. Forced out of the pocket. Back to the line of scrimmage no more. Buffalo will have to punt. Much of the weather. The Bears should get good field position again. Schubert is awaiting the punt. It's bouncing over the midfield stripe. Walterscheid lets it drop. The Bills cover it at the Bears 48 yard line. 20 remaining third period. We are still scoreless. Avellini on second and 10. Complete to Walter Payton. Hit immediately. A gain of five. And Scott. Payton behind Dennis Lick. Has the first down, forced out of bounds by Mario Clark. The corner. Delaplane. Delaplane picks up about five over the 30 yard line of Buffalo. Payton against the motion man, but all the blocking going his way. Picked up about three yards before Sanford put the stop on him. Neil Armstrong with Greg Latta, who will bring in the next Chicago play. Third and two. Oh, Peyton and Avellini collided. I don't think that was a factor. The Bills simply flooded in on the right side, and had it been a clean handoff, he was going no further. Fifth the win. Ashnagel holding. That is going to be short. 44-yard field goal try. Again, the Bears come up empty. Go from their own 24. Bumbo. Loose ball. 
Curtis Brown dropped it. It appears the Bears have it. Jerry Muckensturm, and they do. Muckensturm has recovered, and the Bears with a golden opportunity. And strange in many aspects today. Peyton. Cuts inside, still going, and gets down to the six-yard line with a burst of speed. Delaplane and Peyton, the running backs. Delaplane over the five to the three-yard line. Avalini likes to quarterback sneak. Double tight for the Bears in the short yardage. Delaplane spinning with a second effort. Got the first down yardage. He was hit right at the line of scrimmage. Did again. Peyton diving. Does not get to the end zone, however. Landed at about the two, and his forward progress will be spotted closer to the one. Peyton. Touchdown. Walter Peyton. Up and over, as only Walter Peyton can do. He must have been six feet in the air, up over everybody. Just did a great, great leap. Watch it. They're up. They're up waiting for him. They're up, but he still gets over. Unbelievable. And well, down he goes into the end zone for the touchdown. A great play by Walter Payton. It's not the Fosbury flop, but it is certainly the look at that, the, the height that, that he got. Walter, <laughs> this is nothing but good. He would have been a great gymnast. He could, uh, I'm sure, take up any sport he wants to. He's such a superb athlete. He got that yard using up 337 on the clock. The Bears have had the ball most of the game, and with the wind behind them, let's see what they can generate. In motion is Frank Lewis. Complete to Jerry Butler. Out of bounds at his own 32. Let's forget all that stuff. It's supposed to be a balmy autumn day. <laughs> Whoa, Curtis big Brown, hole. big hole, right side. First down out to the 40-yard line. Hard running by the fullback, Brown. Stopped by Doug Plank, number 46. Hampton and Hartenstein, Osborne, and Page, the front four for Chicago. Ferguson has the time. Can't find a man. Running it, he has room, and Hicks with a saving tackle. Really put a knock on Ferguson, but he's up and all right. At the 45 of Chicago, rookie quarterback doing such a fine job replacing Gary Danielson. Splitbacks are Miller and Brown. Ferguson. Complete. Ruben Gantz inside the 40. Wentford Gaines, number 36. Lenny Walterscheid, number 23. An injured reserve with an unfortunate staff infection in his lower back. Ellis was activated today. Curtis Brown is stacked up behind the line of scrimmage. Hartenstein and Hampton pinching in. Osborne was there. They just broke down the Bills offensive line totally for a loss of two on the play, and they bring up fourth down. Parsons will punt standing at his own four-yard line. Hits it from the nine. A low punt against the wind. Fielded at the 50 by Moody. Moody away from Schubert. Moody down the sideline. Knocked down, but he got. Well, they're going to call it back. They went out of bounds at the... 36-yard line, still good field position, and this Bills crowd on their feet here at Rich Stadium as they see the opportunity to tie it up. Following the short punt into the wind from Parsons, and a good return by Moody. Ferguson under pressure. Can't get it away. Hampton with the sack. The big rookie from Arkansas, who had a sack last week. Third down. 16 to go for the Bills. Curtis Brown, rolling hooks. Flipbacks. Lewis wide right, Butler left. Ferguson with time. Incomplete intended for Lewis. Undesirable position. Peyton runs it out to the nine yard line. Whoa. Peyton out of his end zone on the pitch out. Look at him work. Out of bounds back at the 12 yard line. They have a chance. 0, 8 remaining. It's Peyton pulled down. Swarming tackle by the Buffalo Bills. Not seriously. They'll have field position. Moody from midfield. Good coverage by the Bears. Heron chases oh. him back. Moody in a foot race. Gets a block. 
Cut down at the 45-yard line. Good coverage by the Chicago Bears in an all-important punting situation. Ben Personal referee. foul, number 26, on the run back. That is Charles Romes, the cornerback, or in motion back to the ball. Ferguson for Picone. Complete. Lou Picone. First down at the Chicago 36. Buffalo in second and ten. Here comes Hampton. Oh! Incomplete for Frank Lewis who couldn't hold. That was there. I, he really had a lot of zip on the ball. Perhaps a little too much for Lewis to handle. Five remaining. We approach the two-minute warning. He's got time. Now he's forced out by Hartenstein. Unloads and complete intended for Butler. Butler was out of bounds, and Butler could just no way get that ball and make a catch in bounds. He was covered by Virgil Livers. Lone setback is Roland Hooks. Ferguson up the middle, and is it complete? No. Intended for Picone. A low ball he could not hold on. And the Bears have held. And the Chicago Bears will take over with 1.53 to go. And so the Chicago Bears have hung on to win today against the Buffalo Bills. The only points scored with 11.18 remaining in the football game. Walter Payton scoring from one yard out. And the Bears win it 7-0. The NFL on CBS will be back after this word from your local station. 